Hi there. My name is Emma. In this video, we will discuss some concepts about Windows processes. Let's start with understanding what a process is. Here is the software program for Microsoft Edge. A program is simply a sequence of instructions that must be executed for the software application to function as intended. When you double-click on the icon to execute it, it becomes a process. A process is simply a program in execution. Processes are an important part of Windows. Numerous processes can be active at the same time, and the OS efficiently manages resources across all of them. In the user mode or user land, you can view the list of active processes at any time using tools like Process Explorer. All the applications that you use will show up as active processes. Notepad application is currently active. Its process ID is 3336. Information about every process is stored in kernel land as well. For every process, an e-process structure is created. This structure contains many fields of information like the process creation time, process ID, parent process ID, etc. All this information can be viewed in the user land using various tools like Process Explorer. Some information about a process is specific to the kernel alone. This information is stored in another special structure called the kprocess structure, and it is part of the eProcess structure. The structure of one process has one field of information that points to the structure of another process. And so on. In this way, information about all the processes on a system are linked together. The entire chained list of processes is stored as part of another structure that holds the list of active processes on a computer. We can view the fields of information present in an eProcess structure for a process, using debugging tools like Windows Debugger. I have it installed on my system. We need to enable kernel debugging to view the process structures. Head over to File and select Attach to Kernel. We will view all the fields in a generic eProcess structure using this command. Here DT refers to display type. NT refers to the kernel. eProcess structure has a large number of fields within it. Here is the kprocess structure. Process ID. Links to another process. Process creation time, etc. Let us take a look at the kprocess structure. This structure also has a number of fields. Now, Notepad is currently running on this machine. In WinDBG, we can view the list of active processes using the command dmlproc. Here dml refers to debugger markup language. There are three fields of output here. The executable name, process ID, and address in kernel memory where the eProcess structure of that process can be found. I will copy the address for notepad. To view the eProcess structure for Notepad, we will use this command again. And pass the copied address as well. Here, we can view data stored in the different fields for Notepad. In this way, we can use Windows Debugger to view critical information about the internal state of processes. Are you wondering why this is important for malware reverse engineering? I'll tell you why. You can use memory forensics to analyze sophisticated malware samples. This may be done by analyzing structures such as the ones presented in this video. I hope you have a good idea now 
about how processes exist in user land and kernel land. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!